In this video, we will look through some of the material list features and functions in Smart Estimator. The material lists can be found in Reported, they are generated automatically by the software based on your scaffold model and material configuration settings. When you first open the Reported module it will display the total material list for all scaffolds in the item selected. You can switch to view the material list for a different item by clicking on items on the project bar. You can add extra components to the material list in addition to those calculated by the software, such as additional beams. To do this click the Add Extra Materials button on the top toolbar, and then select the component you wish to add, along with the quantity required. The software will calculate the additional tonnage for the added materials and adjust the material higher costs in the estimate accordingly. To add more additional components, simply click Add Extra Materials again and repeat the process. You can also filter the material list to a single scaffold, or attach structure in the item. Click on Select Section to edit, then select which scaffold you wish to view materials for separately. This will show components and tonnage for just the selected scaffold. It will also generate a second section describing how the components are being used within the scaffold. If you open the print preview with a single scaffold selected you will be able to filter the list further based on height, elevations or lifts. This allows you to generate several material lists for progressively built scaffolds and calculate transport requirements in more detail. However if you have multiple scaffolds selected print preview will only allow you to filter by elevation and height, not by lift. Click Show All to reset the material list. You can also print the material list, or export it in a variety of file formats such as PDF, Word document or Excel by clicking the Export To button. You can also email the material list straight to an email contact in any format by clicking the Email To button. This will open a blank email with the document attached ready to send. 